And that one is lifted high to left field. Should be deep enough to score the runner from third. And Miller will indeed try it in easily as no throw is made. They do keep the runner at second base, though, with two gone. And Bamba gets on the board first, one nothing. And that one's hit towards the gap, but shallow right center field. That'll get another run in. Petrut scoring easily, heads up, base running on the part of Mizell, able to head to second as that one was bobbled in right field. That'll be an E9 charged. Roped to right field, that'll score a pair. Crossing easily will be LeBron. Right behind him is Miller, and heading to third with no throw will be McCants. It's a two-run single with two out for Ian Petrutz. And how about his day? A double and a single, a run scored, and now two RBIs as well. That one is smoked towards left field. Well hit off the bat of Vergara, and that one is gone. A two-run shot off the bat of Alex Vergara in the center fielder for Lipscomb has made this a 4-3 ball game. We're a long way from 20 to 13. Ground ball back up the middle and through. That should score a run. They will send Mizell to the plate. The throw is going to be cut off, and Alabama has gotten one of the two runs back. It's now 5-3 Crimson Tide here in the third. Let me go talk to the team. Well, he may have just told him to hit it a long ways. If he did, that's great coaching because he absolutely did and nearly took a car out in the process. A shot off the bat on his resume for the day. And that could drop in. Looks like it will. Base hit. Scoring the runner from third, Eblen. Everybody else moves up 90 feet. It's RBI number three on the day for Ian Petrantz. And Alabama pushes the lead now to seven to four. Base is juiced one out and hits that one right through the hole left side. May score two. They'll send McCants right behind Miller. It is indeed a two-run single off the bat of Evan Slight. I'm not sure the last two hits would have broken a pane of glass for Alabama, but they got the job done as it's now a 9-4 BAM advantage. Who had the home run earlier. Gets a ground ball to Hodo, and that will do it. Well, very quickly and quietly, the Bisons go in the night that Alabama does indeed get the sweep of the team from Nashville with a 10-5 victory.